rolling. This is fun. No getting a word in edgewise with this one. Jeffrey will talk for half an hour and then say, go ahead. All we have is to listen to you here. <laughs> he also has the longest sentence of any judge possible. <laughs> Our judges are expertly taking on a memorable basket, making it their own. That's what's happening in the chopped kitchen after hours. Scott, Alex, Jeffrey, it's always a blast when you all leave the judging table and come over and get to the stations and cook. It's a blast for you, because you get to point and laugh at us. I think after all this time, these might be my two favorite boyfriends Aww. that I have. This is like an original kind of combination here. This is here. it. This is the beginning. You guys right? are original gangsters. All right, as you all will remember, this was a very important basket. This was the appetizer basket for our Chopped All-Stars finale. So we have a fish carcass. Tasso ham, Calabrian chilies, yum, and purple potatoes. Yeah. Good products, right? Great products. Tasso ham, a fantastic ingredient. As hams go, it's a really great ham, but it's actually very lean and very fat. There's not a lot of marbling. The fish carcass, a lot of Americans would look at this as garbage. This particular fish carcass, cod, and a catfish head. Wait, what's that called again? Cod. I love the way he says it. Went from Boston. Cod. The approach that I think a lot of people would take would be to make this into a broth. But there's no time to develop the flavor of what that broth is. It might be important to consider to use the oil from this to add richness to the ham and the potatoes when you cook it, to kind of bring it all together. I am herbs. chomping at the bit to get my hands on this bet. I, like, I am yeah. dying to cook it's this. Is that because this guy is just so darn cute? I, I like how it's dripping all over my clothes. Can I sniff your fingers? <laughs> Anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get cooking. I think we, that's a cut there. <laughs> I'd say cut. All right, 20 minutes on the clock and not a second more, Jeffrey. Are you already cheating? No. OK. I was getting balanced. Come on, Ted. Clock starts now. <laughs> ah! Uh, so I can have Ow! Oh, sorry, Jeffrey. <laughs> ah! Did you taste the cheese? What cheese, darling? Cheese with fish. Finding everything you need? Well, could you get me an assistant? I'll be your assistant. Whoa, there's fish shrapnel going on over here. Ted, can you get me something, love? Uh, yeah, what would you like, sir? Uh, I'd like a macchiato. <laughs> can we please fly in a macchiato for Iron Chef Zakarian? Iron Chef is right. OK, Scott, what's your plan here? I am going to make a soup of spring onions and ramps and a little garnish of shrimp and meat from the fish carcass and Calabrian chilies and a little kind of sofrito out of the tasso and the potatoes and make finishing liquid. Oh, nice. Scott, can I get you a macchiato as no, well? No, no, I'm cutting down on coffee. OK, Alex, you're doing something really ambitious for an appetizer round. Is that your code that you use with contestants when they do something really dumb, Ted? You know, people sometimes accomplish the impossible in here. So let's see if you can do it. I would not be one of those people, Ted. So I'm making the classic little French puff pastry appetizer, which is called a vol au vent, with a little hat where you bake it. OK. And then you open it, and you stuff it, and then you top it. You put just the yolks on top of that uh, yeah, dough. so that they get kind of nice and golden brown. I'm trying to think about presentation. Right. Because I'm probably not going to be cooking my dish when the clock runs out, so I'm figuring whatever's on the plate, if it looks good, I can just judge myself and say that it was really good. Auto-judging. Like Is that, that allowed? Is that I permitted? So. By the way, she's been wrong before. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> she's growling. Ah. I'm out of here. <laughs> Chef Sakarian, what's going down? I'm making a Calabrian pesto vegetarian soup with a little bit of fish carcass. Could you give me a little more detail about this? I'm just making it between a fish stew and a ratatouille sort of in a soup form. Oh, I'm smelling some wood smoke. Where's that like from? That? Oh, that's the Tasso ham. You and Alex both have fennel. What a beautiful Yes, well, vegetable. fennel's the best, right, Alex? I think so. I mean, I think it's got that real south of France kind of feel to it that I think it doesn't surprise me that Jeffrey's copying me as usual. No. I asked him for coffee. OK, let me see about that. Chefs, 14 minutes left on the clock. Could you go give me the mayonnaise? Yeah, sure. Running an errand for Jeffrey of the greatest urges. It's about time. Could you grab the anchovies for me, Ted? You got it, babe. Anchovies for Alex. And a little mayo for Chef Cheesy. 
Oh, I love this. So much fun. I miss this. I aim to serve. This is Scott's phone, and I think he forgot to lock it. So I'm just going to send out a few emails. What do you want? over here. I'm trying to relax. What do you want? Hey, Jeffrey, the Dow's up 50. That's good, Ted. It's only the beginning of the day. We got plenty of time. Right on. I'll keep you posted. Just under five minutes to go, judges. Oh, there's no way this is happening. Mmm. Jeffrey, that pesto is vivid. It's actually a puree of beans, and I'm going to thicken the soup with that. Is the heat entirely from the Calabrian chilies? Yes. Mmm. How's it going? Mmm, good. Right Hanging on. in there. All right, Chef Conant. Break it down for me. What are you up to here? I got tarragon, beautiful spring onion, French beans, broccoli, tasso ham, Peruvian potatoes, Calabrian chilies. Scott, I would venture to say that you are in this. I'm in a lot of things right now. <laughs> the weeds would be one of them. All right, judges, one minute left on the clock. Oh! What the hell was that? Uh, uh, surprisingly, <laughs> yeah, <natural. all> right? <laughs> I'm playing. Look at you, sir, with a patented saffron swipe. Is that a saffron swipe? Yes, chef. Chef's is sit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. No, I don't, I don't, five, like, I don't like this at all. Four, Wait, let me go get truffle oil. Three, <laughs> two, get out of here. One. Scott, you keep on cooking. It's fine. Time's up. Please step back. Woo! Oh. Ooh. Give me some love right there, mommy. Chef Alex, yeah. what have we here? I made a vol with potatoes, fish, and Calabrian chilies, and a little bit of ham. This is beautiful. I took meat from the throat and the belly flap of the fish, and I poached it in cream. And then I mixed it together with the ham. But I petite. Alex, what's this golden color in the liquid? Where's that from? From the fish. You know, I wanted, like, the chunks of fish from the carcass. <laughs> love how you use that spicy. ham. Really thoughtful. It looks heavy, it's not. I it's love the Calabrian chili. I love that. I, I think it's great. So deeply flavored. There's a lot of heart in that dish. That's what it feels like. So this is spring onion soup with shrimp and purple potatoes. Yum. Elegant. Beautiful. It's an elegant soup. And I made a broth out of the fish carcasses. And then I took the purple potatoes and I sauteed them with some of the cod carcass and some broccoli and some French beans. This is incredible, Scott. Mm. It's very hard to get something vegetal and fish to work together. That's because tarragon is so strong, but the spring onion just softened it so nice. Like a little bit of the smoke from the tasso I also. I love it. Cheers. Awesome. Thank you. Jeffrey. Finally. Your macchiato, sir. Well, Excuse me, man. I believe. Uh, is that to your liking, sir? Is we'll talk better? about it later. Chef Zakarian, what do you got? So I made a Calabrian vegetable stew, the fish scraps, and then I made a little fresh saffron aioli. Oh, that's good. This is just, you know, scrape it out of the bowl with a crust of bread, delicious looking. That aioli is good. really good with this. I mean, mm. there's something bouillabaisse esque. It tastes 100% south of France. Well, I didn't use the tasso ham, I just used the fat. So I scraped the fat off and I just fried everything in the fat. The question is you brought sausage in from the pantry. Why wouldn't you use some of the ham? Because when you cook that ham, it turns dry and chewy. So I used the fat of the ham and the sausage from the. But you could also crisp that up. I didn't think it belonged here. Did Jeffrey meet the letter of the law here? I think you're chopped. <laughs> Get, don't let the door hit you on the way out. See you later. Finally. <laughs> well, that all-star appetizer basket really shines when you guys cook those ingredients. It's so special. Thank I'll you. Cheers. Foodnetwork.com slash chopped is where you'll find more After Hours Judges Rounds. Check them out.